there was five players who scored in double digits and three more who were just a basket away. Can you talk about the depth of your team this year? Uh, we got a lot of players that can score. Um, I just we feel like if we just give it our all on defense and get stops and work your guys, play to your tire, and then you know bring in the next five that can play just like us and leave off right where we left off, then we'll be fine. So I mean, we're going to need that all year. You saw Michael Ojo get his first career double-double tonight. What is it like to see him achieve that? Um, he definitely earned it. He really loved his heart out. Um, and a guy like him, he's just happy, you know, with whatever. Um, every night is not his night, and we know that. But for tonight, we're just trying to continue to get him the ball. He was making some big-time plays and hitting some very clutch free throws. What was the biggest difference defensively for you guys from the first to the second half? Really, we were just playing till we tired. In the first half, we were trying to kind of lack in a little bit. But when we came out in the second half, we were just playing till we were tired. And then, you know, making subs, and they would come in and play till they were tired. Then we'd make another sub and we'd get a fresh group in, in and out, in and out. So, I mean, it worked bad for us just because we were getting a lot of stops. Can you tell me just how important these non conference wins are? Well, they're very important just because we know we want to be in the tournament when it all comes down to it. So if we go undefeated, you know, in a non-conference, and, you know, it's going to be some tough games in ACC play just because it's the hardest league to play. And I feel like, and the rest of our coaches feel like, so, I mean, we just got to, you know, grind it out, win all these non-conference games, and it'll be fine. Before the season, you told us about how you felt like your team has a new mentality going yeah. into this year, how it's about Florida State, not about anyone else. You played two pretty good mid-major teams. Do you feel like you guys have carried that over? Um, I feel like we carry it over, but I feel like we have a lot that we can still, you know, show. Um, yeah, we played a lot, uh, you know, some mid-major teams, but we got uh, some games coming up where we play guys like Temple, West Virginia. I mean, it's going to be hard. We just can't get, you know, satisfied with the, the wins we we've been home. Um, we win a lot of games home, no matter what. So we got, the test is going to be when we leave uh, next Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever we leave, and go on the road and play these hard teams that's actually ranked that people actually talk about.